hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you are new here i'd like you to like this video and subscribe to my channel below you can also leave on the notification button so that you will be notified whenever new videos are being posted please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think and don't forget to like this video so today i'm going to show you how i made this mini butter bread loaf stay tuned so the very first step is to activate our yeast so i have here one cup of warm water and to that i'll add one tablespoon of sugar and about a tablespoon of yeast this is because yeast works well with sugar and warmth yes you don't want to add salt to your yeast So I'll give it a good stir and set it aside. So in a mixing bowl, I'll add three cups of bread flour. You can also use all-purpose flour. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of nutmeg, half cup of sugar, and I'll mix all the dry ingredients together. So now I'll go ahead and add unsalted butter to our flour. You can also use margarine if that is what you have. So I'm going to mix this very well until I get this sandy texture. You can do this with a mixer, but if you are going to use your hand, please make sure you wash your hands very well. So now our yeast has been fully activated because of the foam we see on top. Yes, so we are going to add it to our flour mixture and add one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring essence. Now we'll mix this together until we form a dough. So now I'm going to knead the dough with the heel of my palm until it stops sticking. Yes, so we'll go ahead and sprinkle some flour on top if it continues to stick. So now I'm going to grease my bowl with some butter. You can use oil or any that you prefer. I'll cover it with a clean wrap and let it sit for about an hour. 
While at it, I'll go ahead and grease my tin with some melted butter and this will help the bread to come out easily when it's done. So now our dough has been sitting for one hour and we can see that it has doubled in size. So now I'll go ahead and get rid of the air bubbles in it. So now I'll go ahead and cut the dough into three parts. So I'll first of all roll it out. And spread it with my hand. So now I'll just go ahead and spread the bottom a little bit, okay, because the bottom has to be of the same length as the tin, okay. So now I'll just fold it into two. And I'll go ahead and seal that. So now we are going to roll it like that. You roll and you push it up a little bit and then you roll. Push up, roll, push up. Yeah, push up like that and then you roll. So you do that till it's finished and then you seal the last part.
so it looks beautifully sealed and we are just going to do the roll push thing again so you roll you push up roll then you push up just like that So I didn't get the same size as though, but still we can work with it. So I'm going to cover this for about 30 minutes and we'll proceed from there. So after 30 minutes, this is how it looks like. It has filled up its tin. So now we are going to bake this in our preheated oven for about 25 minutes. To 30 minutes until the crust becomes golden brown so now we'll let it cool for some time and then we'll take it out so you see how easy the bread fell out of the tin Yes, and that is because of the butter we greased the tin with earlier.